Like you guys, I just love golf tech, especially launch monitors and golf simulators. Now last year was one of the biggest on record, and I was really fortunate to test everything from a cheap $200 unit to going to Troon's corporate headquarters to test out a $75,000 unit with a moving floor. Now this year is going to be even more epic, and in today's video, I'm going to go over what I feel are the best for 2024 based on what I got to see at the PGA show last week. So let's do this. Now first up is the Repsoto MLM2 Pro. Now as you guys know, the MLM2 Pro was launched last year, and the launch is a little rough, but Repsoto has been diligently listening to all of our feedback and has made just a ton of improvements. Now last month, they introduced their all new range experience. Now this follows the ball flight and it also added the option to include a target for more engaging practice sessions. Now one of my favorite updates has been the new alignment feature. Now this was just released last week and this has been designed to be even more user friendly than what was there before. Now if you own an MLM2 Pro, there was this little yellow alignment box. To be honest, it was just a pain. But the good news is that it's gone. Rapsodo is now utilizing the vision camera to ensure that the ball is correctly placed. And honestly, I just love this feature because it makes it so simple to use. It's even more accurate than it was before. Now they also updated their golf courses by adding elevation data to some of their 30,000 courses. So this means you'll see even more realistic fairway contours and even cliffs, if they exist on the actual course. Now something that I've had yet to see any of the launch monitor companies work on is swing speed training. But Repso just came out with the R speed. Now the R speed allows you to record your swing without really hitting a ball, which is just perfect for speed training. So whether you use a dedicated speed training tool like super speed or just your clubs, you'll get to see and track your progress over time. Now many of us complain that we could only use Callaway balls with the MLM2 Pro if we wanted to have accurate spin data indoors. And again, Rapsodo listened to us and they just announced a partnership with Titleist. So what this means is they're now going to apply the RPT pattern to both the Pro V1 and the Pro V1X, giving us golfers more options as to the balls we wanna use. Now the RPT balls from Titleist will be available for pre-order sometime in mid-February on the Rapsodo's website, and they should be shipping out in early March. Now the cost for a dozen RPT balls, whether it's a Callaway or a Titleist ball, is gonna be about $69. And there's also been talk that they're gonna be doing an RCT ball that's gonna be an RPT ball. So that's been something to look forward to this year. Now next up on my list is FlightScope. And as you guys know, FlightScope makes some of the best launch monitors in the world. And actually my first unit was the original Mevo, and my second unit was the Mevo Plus. Now what is cool is that FlightScope just released a limited edition Mevo Plus, which features a new color scheme, a logo, and an improved casing for more durability on the actual unit. And the exciting part is, is that it includes the Pro package and the face impact location. Plus they've added an exclusive E6 package that includes Pebble Beach, St. Andrews, Beth Page Black, and Harbor Town. Now these are all separate and you can't buy them by themselves. Now this is a package you can't just buy separately. So these are really our limited edition. And if you're interested, check out the links down below. Now, FlightScope also released its first AI software for a launch monitor, which is called Badger AI. And what's incredible is that you can ask various questions to the Badger AI about your game, from optimizing your driver lob for more distance, or actually finding YouTube tutorials to improve your golf swing something that I personally need. And to be honest, this is actually a real game changer. However, it's still being beta tested right now. And if you want to check it out, you can actually go to FlightScope's website to ask if you participate in the beta testing. Now that's pretty cool. Now FlightScope has also returned the club optimizer tool, which now works for all the clubs from wedges to drivers, which allows you to instantly see how adjusting parameters like spin can really affect your shots. It's perfect for club fitting and understanding equipment adjustments even have an environmental optimizer that allows you to simulate different conditions with the weather, changing your location. And what's really cool about that is you can now adjust humidity, temperature, wind speed, and direction to understand its impact on the actual ball flight. But my favorite feature has to be its new multicam feature. It lets you capture your shot in augmented reality from multiple angles, which you can easily then share your videos on social media. Honestly, I can't wait to get my hands on it because it's really super cool. 
Next up is Unicor, who just released its new iMini Lite, which is the little brother to the iMini that I recently reviewed here on the show. Now the iMini Lite has an indoor focus, offering all the same performance of the original iMini, but it doesn't have a battery or a heads up display. And instead it runs through a PC, which provides all the same data you need for a fraction of the cost of its bigger brother, the Mini. Now the regular iMini is priced at 4,500 bucks, but the iMini Lite is at 2750. So it's been made for those who primarily use it indoors because it offers pretty much identical accuracy and functionality as the iMini, but at a more affordable price, especially if you just want to use it as an indoor golf simulator. Now Unicor also showed off its new AI trainer, which analyzes your swing using Unicor's tech cameras. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to see a pattern here with AI stuff this year. And this actually breaks your swing into eight positions and provides real-time feedback, helping you identify correct swing issues, as well as it's a fantastic tool for your own self-improvement because you can actually share it with your golf instructor. Now this is in beta too, but it should be accessible soon through the view platform for the Unicor units. But my favorite Unicor product has to be its ground vision or the G vision, which is just super cool. It involves an additional projector that's actually pointing down to the ground in your swing area. And with G vision, all your data is there, including your club objects videos, everything that's on the screen is now on the ground at your feet. And to be honest, this is a real game changer because it makes it easy to access your data without having to look up or look around or whatever. It's right there on the ground and it looks cool. Now launch monitors have really steepened the learning curve for us golfers, especially as we get better. And until recently, launch monitors and simulators cost way more than we could ever afford, but the times are changing. There are now a bunch of launch monitors available that are not only affordable, but also give you the advanced data that makes learning a lot more fun and a lot easier. Guys, I really hope you enjoy this one. Can you do me a favor and like and comment down below? I mean, what launch monitor you think looks cool or which one are you gonna be using yourself this golf season? I had a ton of fun at the PGA show this year and this is just the tip of the iceberg of all the cool stuff we got to see. But if you wanna see what we thought that were the best launch monitors and simulators of the year, then check out this video right here and I'll see you guys on the course.